is that a lot of people tend to focus on shopping during Eid. Now, is that an okay thing or is that something that's, uh, you know, um, happy, something good for it. For I think it's great. I think a lot of people have said that Eid and Christmas and other festivals have become consumer, you know, consumer places or consumerized and so on. Is it not good though? I think it's great. I, you know, I look, the focus shouldn't be that. Okay. But let's face the facts. When you were a kid, when I was a kid, wouldn't you wait for your Eid? Oh yeah. Wouldn't you wait for that, you know, you go to your grandma, your grandfather, or you go to your parents and you're like, come on, give me something. And the parents would give you, you know, a certain note if you're lucky, or they'd go to buy you, uh, you know, you want a watch, you want the latest game. When we were children, that was our understanding of festivals. Yeah. Now, I don't see a problem with, you know, the family is all gathered here quite wonderfully in Karbala. You know, they're all going, they're going shopping, they're trying to, you know, bring a day of joy to each other. It's a day of Allah's mercy upon yes. one another. But I'll tell you something that happened. We were um, at the house of Imam Ali and uh, at the house of Imam Ali alayhi salam in Kufa. Uh, in Kufa. Yeah. And um, while we were there at the house, myself and um, Murtada Kanani, the head of spiritual journeys, were sitting down, and this lady came into the room where we were sitting with the Imam of the of the area where they pray, and she she inquired about something. The Imam said to her, that, "Just wait outside. I'll get back to you." And we asked, "What is it?" And she said she just wanted some money to go and buy her children some Eid gifts. Wow. Because they are so poverty stricken in some parts of Iraq that we might joke about, you know, having a Daytona or having chrome hearts or having You're Adventist not Creed. Okay, not I might be, not be joking, <laughs> but at the same time, if, I, if you're willing to spend money on these things, then you shouldn't be hesitant about looking after someone's smile on the day of Eid. Yeah. That lady wanted $50, $100. And so if some of us are going to go out there and we're going to spend money, we should bear in mind to have a thought for those people in the world that will not come anywhere near what we have. I'm not saying that you'll buy happiness on the day of Eid by giving someone money, but you could certainly rent happiness for that one day. Yeah. You know, mind you, I've seen some of these families who don't have any of the things that we've mentioned. But I'll tell you what, they can all sit on a dinner table and smile. Yeah. And there are people out there on the day of Eid who can't even get their kids around them because of the fact that everyone's, you know, disunited in the family or there are quarrels in the family. Yeah. So I think while Eid can be seen in some cases as going towards the direction of consumerism, yeah. which I don't think is always negative, but I think it becomes negative if a person forgets about the affairs of the Ummah mm -hmm. generally. Mm -hmm.